in the last video. Oh, there's a flare in here. What is, what is even going on? What is even, what it, what, huh? And now we continue. Oh. This may prove to be a problem. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm doing it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You guys are gonna get night vision. I don't have that. I don't have that luxury. I'm literally just, I, I can barely see anything. However, that's not going to stop me. I know that's not the way that I need to go. It's a path over here that I do need to go. There's a little fire pit over here, I think. So we're going to go down this way. I'm going to give you guys night vision for this, but like I might periodically just dip it back down just so that you can see what I'm seeing and what I'm having to put up with. Pretty sure it's a left right here. Okay, we made it out. Oh boy. That was exciting. We don't need no stinking light. I am the darkness. You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see sunlight until I was still a man. Sweet, we got through. I can't feel my hands. Oh, that's okay, Astrid. We'll be we'll be inside another warm spot soon. Yeah, I was uh I, part of me wanted to go back. I was like, well, I gotta go find matches now. But another part of me was like, nah man, go forward. And then I realized I could kind of see, so I just went ahead and did that. And it worked. There was a spot that I could have fallen. I definitely was crossing over a bridge. Glad it didn't come to that. Do I if I don't pull him up soon? Okay. There's a rabbit right there. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta go. We might find some more food in the hydro dam. I'm getting real lucky with the weather so too. I'm gonna collect these while I'm out here. Hear a wolf. That's not good. Oh, he's going right where I need to go too. Okay, he's eating a uh, he's eating a rabbit. If I uh, if I sneak by him here. He should be a little bit preoccupied. I do need to go up there. I'm 
just hoping he he doesn't he doesn't bother with me. Don't worry, buddy. I don't want I don't want none of your delicious rabbit. Oh, I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, cool. We chill. We chill. All right, cool. I'm going up here now. You enjoy that rabbit, man. Wow, it's been a it's been a minute. I just looked over at my timer. It's been like an hour and 10 minutes, 11 minutes. Here I was thinking I was going to survive maybe 5 days. I'm not doing I'm not doing too terrible. Ah, poor soul. You have matches? Nope. Nothing there. I will take that scrap, though. It's gonna be useful. Ooh. I literally just clicked, like, clipped me. Glitch clipped me over to the right a little bit. Just enough that I almost went over the ledge. Like, did you see that? You just jittered. Not cool. Not cool, game. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to fall off the side. There's a deer right there. There is something back there. I see it. I don't think I can get to it. Maybe I can get to it from this end? Yeah, I can. Okay. Eh, not really worth it. Never really gone over here before. Interesting. Hmm. Well, let's get inside. It's a little chilly out here. Maybe we'll find some painkillers. Who knows? Alright, let's go in here. Do need to get through here before the sun goes down, because it's gonna be a tad bit more difficult to navigate in here in the dark. Caves are one thing. Buildings are another. Let's see what we can find though. I do see something underneath the desk. I think it's a book. I will take that. books are going to be useful. They're going to help me a lot. Anybody who doesn't know what the books do in survival mode, basically what they do is each book has its own like category. I think there's like shooting, fire building, cooking. Um, there's just a, I think there's a couple of other ones like repairing, like suing. There's like a suing one too. And basically what they do is they give you experience towards that thing to make it easier and more likely that you succeed on those skill checks. I will take that. However, they do take time to read. Like each one takes like, like some of the smaller ones are five hours, but there are 25 hour books. Uh, the more hours that you read into them, I think the more experience you get. But you also have to be like in good health to read them. So like you can't be you can't be thirsty. I don't think you can be hungry. Um, I could use this. I don't want to grab another one. I've already got one, but that that's a good find.
Uh, but yeah, if you're ever if you're doing your own survival run, books are very useful. I would highly recommend picking them up. Uh, accelerant. I would take that. Um, I could make some hooks out of that. Not right now, though. something just to stop me from stop me from dying let's go ahead and eat this that can opener was big i'm pretty sure i can repair can openers too with the uh supply kit that i found just looking around here Seeing what I can find. Something else to note, if, uh, if you aren't careful in a survival run, because I, I think I've definitely done this, or I've seen people do this, where you'll have your bedroll, and let's say that you set your bedroll down, like, right, right here. These wires... Maybe not these wires because they're not plugged into anything, but if you set your bedroll on some wires and you get an aurora in the middle of the night, um, you can't actually interrupt your sleep in, I think, uh, Stalker and Interloper. I think those are when you have to, whatever you set for your sleep, you have to sleep all the way through the night. Um, those, those, uh, these spark up basically when uh, an aurora hits. So if your bedroll happens to be on top of one of them, you will die. So just be careful that you don't ever put bedrolls on top of cordage like that. Use prints. This is I will take that food. And this exit, basically this is that door on the other side of the... Uh, you guys remember how I had to had to climb over the side and get into that snow filled uh, entrance? There was like a door right before there. Th that this is that door. It leads out. Let's check out what's over here. I'm at risk for something. I think it's my... Yeah, I think it's the... Okay, hypothermia risk is going down now. Um, I'll have pain for another 40 minutes. And then for... Sprained wrist, about two hours, and then that'll heal. So they heal themselves. So that's good to know. That would kind of suck if they didn't. Oh, that guy's got bloody bandages. Or girl. I don't know. I'm gonna do some looking around here. Not too much. Actually, I think I could afford to just loot around for a little bit. Not on a clock. Other than, like... Needing food and rest. That's a good no find. Needs this anymore. Now I can make fire. Not matches, but it'll do. Let's check out up here. Nothing. Nothing. Anything over here? <sighs> so that's the way, that's the way to get up instead of these broken stairs right here. 
you just climb around. Canadian flag, maple leaf. I need to find food. I'm gonna go check over here. A couple of things we still don't have, but I don't think they do. I don't think they actually spawn. Um, are like a hacksaw. I don't think a hatchet spawns. I don't think knives spawn. An interloper. I think you literally have to make everything. I'm not exactly sure what all I need in order to make a knife. I'm pretty sure it's just cloth and some scrap metal. Continue on. We just keep finding those. I will grab one just in case we can't repair the other. is gone. It has been healed. Usually good stuff spawns in here. Sometimes there's a flare right there. Maple syrup, you gotta hide it in a safe. It's too it's too valuable to not put in a safe. You can turn the radio on and off, that's kinda cool. So one of my friends a, a while so ago. Oh, where were you when I needed you like ages ago? Oh well. I have you now. Uh, but one of my friends during one of my runs a long time ago, um, I picked up some maple syrup and I put it back down. And uh, they basically yelled at me because they were like, don't put the maple syrup down. It's like the most valuable food item in the game. They're not wrong, but when I think about like valuable food items, I don't think maple syrup, like in real, in real world time. Because just, just straight maple syrup I mean, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get calories, but at what cost? I'm actually kind of curious exactly how many calories, like real world calories, that you would get from maple syrup, like an entire bottle of maple syrup. I'm probably gonna cut that into the video now because I'm thinking about it. So enjoy that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna, if I was gonna guess, you guys probably already know the answer because I probably cut that into the video. Um, but if I was gonna guess, I'd say like, somewhere around 2,000 2, calories for, an, for a bottle, something like that. And that's just me guesstimating. All right, let's take a look around here. Mm, nothing in there. We could probably pick up the water out of the toilets. Now, a lot of you might think it's really gross grabbing water from a toilet, but when you really think about it, at least if you live in the in the United States, it's clean water. And not only that, um, most of the time, so, so like this toilet right here, it's it's designed as just like a toilet itself, and then it's got a flush. Uh, like a like a uh, water will run through there when you flush. Um, some of them have a back, like a back that fills up with water. You could probably just grab the water from the back. 
if you get grossed out by it or if it's like a sketchy toilet, that's probably what I would do. And I honestly don't know if it would be good to drink right from a toilet. Me personally, I would probably still bring it to a rolling boil for like three minutes. Damn it. So hungry. Just to make sure that it's safe, you know. But yeah, how are you guys, uh, how are you guys liking the Interloper series so far? I've actually survived a lot longer than I thought I would. Um, I'm having fun with it so far. Let me know your thoughts down below. I still have not found matches. The hunt for matches continues. I know that they uh, they released a DLC for this game, the first paid DLC that they've released in a while. Uh, I think it's the Far Region, like the Long Dark, the Far Region, or something like that. I looked at getting it, but currently I'm unemployed. I'm looking for a job. Um, I think I might have something locked down. But yeah, I can't afford to drop any money on it, unfortunately. But I already own this game, so figure. Might as well record some stuff. Not really finding anything. Matches? Nope, no matches. I need to find a place to rest. There's some beds on the other side. From what I remember. Any books? Any books or anything, maybe? is proving a little uneventful. It's still gonna search, you never know. We might find something good. in here. Okay. Uneventful. By the way, I'm pretty sure during an Aurora that uh, elevator works. This little bit of music, the little bow, bow, bow. Always reminds me of like uh, Metal Gear Solid. Just it just makes me think of Metal Gear Solid for some reason. It's a briefcase right here. I'll take it. Found twenty dollars. Well, look at that. Now I can buy the far region. Game tests are like, you need $20? Well, here's 20 Canadian. Classic Canadians. Always so nice. Alright, I should eat something again while I'm thinking about it. Just so I stop dying. It does sound like it's a little bit a little bit windy out here. What is that noise? I'm gonna go check out these huts over here. I always make sure to shut that, just in case a 
wolf or something decides that they're interested in going in there. And no matches in here either. Let's go in here. Rather than be attacked by a wolf. But this isn't the side that has the beds on it. So that's not good. Oh, hey. This stuff will come in handy. Practical gunsmithing. I don't think that's useful. Uh, at least not for an interloper run. Because I don't think guns spawn. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's useful. I'll take it just because it's a book. It's something to read. But yeah, let me know if that's like a, a high value item, a low value item. Because I don't know. All right. I am going to hope that he thinks that this flare gun is not empty. He's right there. If I stay low to the ground, I'll probably be okay. The moment that I get up, though, he's probably going to notice me instantly. Should we make a run for it? Nah. Nah, let's just walk. We're not in any danger right now. I think he was distracted while he was howling. So I got away with walking for a bit. All right, I can sleep here. But first, we loot. No matches. No matches. Ooh, socks. Wool socks. Those are really good because they're warm. Actually, let me harvest these. Because I can make a bandage out of these. Um. Crafting. Crafting. Oh, I can make a torch. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that, just so I have a way to make fire. I can make some bandages. Let's go ahead and craft that. Might as well apply a bandage to that. It's probably already healed, but... Or it was about to be healed. See a can tomato soup. Not bad. Really slim pickings in interloper, that's for sure. Um, let's go ahead and eat. That's twenty-six so percent. Right I don't have anything to combat um food poisoning. I'm going to go ahead and just, like, eat, eat what I've got that, that is actually in, like, good condition. How many calories do I have in my belly? 892. Might as well finish off with this. We're going to sleep for 12. I think I've got a soda too. Yeah, I do. And we'll finish off with water. All right. Um, is there anything that I can do while I'm waiting? Can I read?
Uh, I can't I can't read while I'm this tired. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and sleep for twelve. I'm not sure if it's twelve or if it's ten. That's optimal. Well, considering we run out of water at at twelve, maybe it's ten. Um, I've survived for two days so far. Well, let's just go ahead and pass some time. With the sun up that much, let's see if I can actually read. It's too dark to read. Let's pass like one more hour. Is it, is it still too dark to read? Of course. Nope, it's not. Let's go ahead and research one more hour. Okay. It's also a more efficient way to pass the time. Oh, I'm starving. Don't worry, I'm gonna feed you. We're gonna give you some water too. Really need some matches. All right, let's do it. Get low. Don't think the wolf is around here. I'm not sure where that leads to. I haven't been that way in a long time. But I'm pretty for sure Forlorn Muskeg is over by the, the trapper's hut or the trapper's cabin. So we're going to go over there. We are probably going to pass by a couple of wolves. The timing of this. The timing. Alright, I do need to get away from him. Wolves are kind of scary uh, in interloper runs, but... As long as you keep moving... And you don't do anything threatening to them. I'm gonna go to that little trolley over there. Gotta warm up somehow. Just to get him off my case. Oh, he gave up. He turned around. That's first. I'm not used to I'm not used to wolves giving up the chase. I've never felt so cold in my life. I could also go check out the fire watch up there while I'm here. Go hit a couple of spots here in, in this region. Still gonna go in here and take a look. Nobody needs That's to big. That. That's a really big find. Hopefully, we don't have any wolves get in our trees. way. Gonna... Don't eat trees, Astrid. Trees are friends, not food. Well, I mean, I guess they could be food for a fire. Looks like it's getting a little bit blizzardy out here. That's okay. I do have a flare in case I run into... Uh, some problems with the wolves.
Made it all this way without matches still. Or any form of, uh... I mean, I guess I could light a fire with the flare, but... Flare's a little bit too valuable for that. Let's check out this. Sometimes, I feel like there's matches in here. I think I can use this. That is really good. Man, we just keep finding like gold. It's like the developers want me to have a good run. Well, I can make fire now. Those rocks, or is that a person? That, those are rocks. And with fire, now I can actually make some water. Which is useful. I'm trying to f figure out if I've already passed the fire watch, or if I just can't see it anymore. a big old buck. If I had a bow and arrow, I'd have some food. So I'm thinking about making this my primary hub right here for my interloper run. Or at least one of my primary hubs. Mainly because it's really close to a good source of food, which is fishing. It's also pretty pretty good. It's, a good, it's just a good spot. Overall. Hey, a book. This will come in handy. Let's take a look around. Yeah, hey, I'm thinking about making this my primary hub. I gotta eat soon. You are fine, Astrid. I might just drop off uh, a bunch of, like offload a bunch of stuff here and only really take what I need. I've got antiseptic now, that's good. And just head to the forge, go make myself some tools. Got a roommate. Yeah, the roommate doesn't have anything on him. Nothing. Anything in here? Anything under there? Another bedroll? I'm gonna take this downstairs. Put you, I'm gonna put you right there. There we go. I'm actually kind of glad that I brought both of those pots because I can make really good use out of fire now. Uh, nothing under there. One of those singing bass. Okay. So, I'm gonna move this over here. Should we take that? Take that. Hey. We've got a cooking pot there. Uh, let's go ahead and craft some stuff. We could use some tinder plugs. 
Let's actually make them out of these stacks of papers that we have. Hypothermia risk is healed, which is always a good thing. We use the fire striker. We don't need any accelerant. I was hoping for matches and I got a fire striker, which is so much better. It does have durability, it wears out, but for now, it's really good. Alright, let's go ahead and add some fuel. Let's go ahead and cook some water up. We're going to focus on water for right now. Break this down. I think those are ready. Oh, they're close. Got 37 minutes on that. Don't want to burn any of those. I do want to read those. And then we're gonna start another fire here. We used yeah, we use the fire striker. Now you guys might also notice that the starting on, fire look. takes a lot longer. Well, that didn't work. It's because you actually have to level it up. And the more that Come you, on, uh, the more that you do it, the further that it levels. Come on, little fire. Come on. I think we won the skill check that time. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Throw some reclaimed wood on there. We're gonna cook some water. Get that going. Cool. Let's go ahead and make some tea as well. up some cheap. <sighs> I think these are good for like five T's. Yeah, they were good for five T's. Let's see how the water downstairs is doing. Forty nine minutes until boiled. Go ahead and add that. And then let's start taking stock of everything that we don't need and that we can offload. Let's go ahead and start offloading these. Just have them out here, you know. What else do we not need? We don't really need all that antiseptic. I'll hold it on me, just in case. Uh, as far as food goes, how are we doing food-wise? Not great. Uh, we don't need two of those. So I can probably just, like, throw that there. I'll just throw these over here, because I don't need them. I'd rather not just have them on the floor, like, on the floor. Alright, what else? What else do we not need? Let's 
three whetstones. Not, not bad, actually. That right there. I'll put that right there. So we've got three whetstones. We do have a couple of books to read and some sewing kits. I'll hold on to those, but these, are, these can stay here. Yeah, I'll put that right there. What else do we not need? We'll drop that and I'll drop that for now. Just so I have some reading stuff to read whenever I'm getting bored, you know. How's that doing? That's doing all right. I think I am going to sleep here for the evening. Already one until boiled. Um. Still have some daylight left. As far as tinder plugs go, we can probably just drop those right here. I'll keep two on me. Okay, let's take a look see what all we don't need. We do need that metal. Um, we don't need that. At least not yet. Really don't think I'm going to need the stump remover for gunpowder. Again, let me know in the comments below if I will need that. I don't think that I do, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna leave it here, just just in case. And we'll put this here. Got a nice little library. Already checked all of that. That's gonna take a little bit too long. And then any of my crafting materials. Put, I can put those in there. I don't think I need that on me. I will hold on to the flare gun. I think the flare gun will be useful. Oh, and you can repair these. That's good to know. Um, yeah, why not? I've got the scrap. Okay, that's good. How are we doing up here? Just kind of having a bit of a cooking party right now. And as far as all that water goes that I have now, um... Just gonna drop all that on the ground and get it all set up up here. I might speed through this footage. Who knows? Okay. Are we on weight 35? What else? Drop both of those. As far as lantern fuel goes, just put that there. 
I know it's a small detail, but I like the... I like to actually be facing me. Okay. Now, I still got a little bit of... Daylight left. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna take that. It'll also give me a little bit of calories back. Okay. There's nothing underneath these beds. I don't see anything. I'm gonna sleep here. So let's go ahead and drink this tea. So improved rest. This will help you rest more deeply. You'll recover more condition per hour of rest. So it's it's not that you get more fatigue back. It's actually that you get more health back per hour of rest that you sleep. So that's really good. Which I don't think I've been full health for like this entire run. So let's go ahead and eat this. Get some more calories back. I'm only going to sleep for 10. Maybe. Yeah. How many calories do we got? We've got eight, 800 calories in our system. Is there anything that else that I can do before I go to bed? Can I read a book? Try one hour of research, I guess. Might as well make the most out of like the daylight. I think we can get all the way through it. Almost. Almost got all the way through it. Did I waste my did I waste my tea? Tell me I didn't waste my tea. I didn't waste my tea. Okay, cool. Double so check. Tired. 800 calories. Yeah, that'd be good. I think I forgot to drink water. I did, but it's okay. What time of day is it? I need to find food. I might just eat that maple syrup, but uh, I hate not having a form of light. I really do. Okay, cool. I'll die if I don't get some food soon. Oh, you're fine, Astrid. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, as far as food goes, we don't have much. I'm gonna take two of those. How are we on water? Okay, that'll be that should be okay. We're gonna go to the trapper's cabin. Yeah, we're going right now. Um Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep some of these books on me, just in case I want some something to read on the way. But yeah, I think we're making that our hub. Probably shouldn't sprint when I can't see over the peaks of these mountains. And now we're going to the trapper's cabin. Pit stopping over there. Might have some food. I'm probably also going to go check out the... Uh, Firewatch thing, but first thing that we have to do, get to the forge. I gotta keep on track with that. Ah, I just looked over, it's been two hours. 
doesn't feel like two hours have passed. Now, if memory serves, there is a moose that's over here that I gotta be a little bit careful of. There's a moose, there's wolves, um... Trying to figure out what else is over there. There's lots of fun stuff, you know. Did I say I hate me gold? Because I really do. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that spawn rates for like just random like processed foods, like peaches, tomato soup, like that stuff. I think it's a lot lower on interloper. Um, the whole idea. I believe is you need to hunt and so that's why getting Wait. over here I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. to the forge so that you can make like a bow and arrow is really like imperative um, there are some birch trees over here so maybe I can find some birch saplings I will pick up some birch bark though while I'm over here. Birch tree right here. Maybe there's some birch bark. Yep, I think I see some right here. Any more? No. See some more over here. You can make tea out of that. I'm gonna grab a couple of stones. There's a good trick that you can do when wolves uh, aggro to you. Um, you can throw down a flare. And when they get in between you and the flare, uh, if you just aim your... aim your rock at them like you're gonna attack them. What's that? Ooh, coal. I can use that. Uh, they'll, they'll eventually just run away, because I guess the fire from the flare scares them. So as a last, a last ditch effort, if you need to get a wolf off of you, you can use that tactic. Oh, hey, is this coal right here? I think it is. Nice. Now, I do know that there's a lot of coal that does spawn at the forge. But I don't know if there's enough. That's the only thing. It's never a bad thing to pick up extra. And with the fire striker, we can actually make a fire, so that'll be useful. Here's the cabin right over here. This is the path that we took when we completed the hunted. Pick up some sticks, too. Never a bad thing to pick up sticks. Gotta keep my eye out. There's a moose that likes to hang out over here. I don't see him. Probably would have been a good idea to bring some tea with me, but... Eh, it's okay. We're at the Trapper's Homestead. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave me a like down below. Maybe even comment on the video. I hope you're enjoying this interloper run, and we will be coming into part three shortly. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.